Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. Today, we're going to be doing pack 9 of the Agora Models release to build the Mercedes W196R, the Sterling Moss Mercedes. Brand new week, and little birds told me that all of you peeps that have uh, ordered the Optimus Prime from Agora Models are starting to get yours now, so that's pretty exciting news. Uh, today, I'm going to be finishing off uh, pack 9, as I said, of the Mercedes. Now, what we're going to be doing today is putting the steering column, as you can see here, this is what we are working on last time, and the top section onto the car. We're also going to be doing the fuel tank. I think there's something like seven stages in this, uh, in this pack. Now, in pack 10, all we're going to be doing is a wheel. So when it comes to doing that next week, I think we'll go in depth into how I actually put these wheels together with the spokes, and I will show you individually how I do it without any of the adhesive and glue. So it's... Uh, pretty much one of these things where uh, if, if I go wrong, it's all gonna go wrong. But it's an easy way to do it. I'm hoping it will make things easier for you if you are doing the spoked wheels anyway. Now, if you wanna get this for yourself, I've put a link down here to the Agora Models website. You can get this all the way from pack one, but without further ado, let's get cracking. Now I have to admit, I didn't realize this vehicle comes with electrics. <laughs> so uh, more for me for not knowing that. Uh, but as you can see, they have got a switch that looks like this. And the switch is what's gonna be going onto the steering wheel here. Now, you see, we have got a little bracket here. The switch is gonna go into the point that you can just see there. So I put the switch in place like that. I'm gonna be putting the bracket over the top and that's gonna hold that in like that. It's actually gonna be held in with an MP screw. So, I have that here. How do I get that screwed in? So theoretically now, I should be able to operate that switch. Testing for the click, that's perfect. Now if I just bring the car over now, I'm gonna be putting this metal bracket in there. You can see I have got some holes in this side. This is just gonna go onto this section here, it kind of clips itself in there, which is uh, quite interesting. And because we had those holes, we can actually screw it in from this side into the bulkhead with some DM screws. So now one of these screws is gonna be very tricky to get in because it's just there underneath this detail. So uh, I'm gonna have to try and work around the detail to get the screw in. There you go, that wasn't easy, I have to say. <laughs> but that's the first one in. And the second one's just going on this side between this section here. There's a hole just in here. Again, quite a tricky one to get into place. But when it's in, it should look like that. Now I get to put this whole cockpit on top. And I'm going to basically guide this steering rod underneath all of these wires here. I actually did this at the end of the last stage, but I've taken it out because I did have that other bit to put in. So I'll get this in, and there you go. That's gonna fit in just like that. Now these two back points that this is attaching to the chassis here and here, and on the other side here and here, gonna hold them in with DM screws. And then to mix it up a bit, these two on these sides here and here, they're gonna be WM screws. And there you go, that's fully into place there. Now on the close-up, where the actual steering goes in, this is gonna actually sit into this section just here. Now as you saw me last time, I am just gonna put lots and lots of oil around this section because when I put this clamp over the top, this isn't gonna be moving. So it's gonna go in with this shaft section pointing towards the back, just like that there. It's gonna be held in with MM screws. And then make that nice and tight. So as you can see, by turning the steering wheel, the wheels turn. Now to pin this part into place, we have this connector. That's gonna go over the top, just like this. And it's gonna be held in with EP screws. And when that's in, it should look just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Thank you. 
In stage 62, we're going to be connecting the steering column and fitting the seat. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make one of these universal joints again, which means putting this cross section in between the bracket, just like this, holding that in with KP screws. And there we go, they're both in that way. And then we're just going to be taking this rod here, and that's going to be going on this side, just like this. It is actually decided what side it needs to go in not the side that's got this lip it's this side here perfect so that's one universal joint on that side tightening everything up here excellent then on the other side we're just going to be creating another one again with kp screws okay just for the time being i've removed the seat because we're now going to be putting this steering shaft into place so if i just turn this on its side it's actually going to go into the hole that we've got just there and I'm threading the back through this open section here so it's going to go in kind of like this just get it plugged in <laughs> that wasn't easy but as you can see that's in there just like that okay turn this back over and I'm going to just connect hopefully you can see this on one camera here the back section here onto that universal joint just there that's going to be held in with km screws and when that's in it should look just like that all that's left to do is mount the seat to the cockpit frame here i'm going to be screwing this in from the other side with ep screws now it is quite hard to show you but it's actually held in by those two screws at the front there and only those two screws funny enough but that is all there is to do in that stage In stage 63 here, I'm going to be assembling and fitting the pedals. So the first thing I'm going to do is take these two parts here. This is going to go on top like that, held in with an AP screw. Excellent. Now I've got some parts of the footrest here, which look like this. This is, got, this is going to fit into the top with this lug here. So I'm sort of going to push it in and line it up with a middle lug that's on here. When it's in it will keep itself in like that now i'm going to put that to one side and bring the car over this is so hard to show you but the first pedal i'm going to put in looks like that it's actually going to be screwed into this point here so what i need to do is put this in goes into a channel behind it kind of like this and then as i said it's going to be held in with an np screw just through that hole once again, I'm not going to lie to you, that's quite a hard thing to do. <laughs> but I'm going to get this in. And there you go, that's that pedal in place. Now the footrest we had here, we've got two lugs at the bottom. That's going to go into the two holes that we can see just there. So again, I'm trying the best I can to show you, but that's how that looks when that's in. Put that to one side, because I'm about to make one other pedal now and basically i need this rod looking like that i need this to go in this side here it is directional how this one's fitting on this side it sort of bends in towards the middle i'm going to hold that in with an ap screw so when that's in it looks like that we get to put the other pedal in now which is going to go in this side here it's got a little d-shaped hole for it to fit in so it looks like that now once again bring the car over and just like we did last time it's going to be held in from this edge here with an mp screw through this hole here so i'm going to get that in and show you what that looks like the top of this bracket here is going to fit into that silver l-shaped detail just there now the easiest way then is to put the pedal in and then just connect it from the underside there so as you can see the pedal's in all I've got to do now is just attach this cross section here to that L-shaped metal bracket there with an AP screw. And there you go. That's in. That's all there is to do in that stage. Okay, I can put the car to one side. Because stage 64, check out the size of this massively metal fuel tank. It's so heavy as well. I mean, oh, look at that. 
all metal. Okay, first section I'm going to do is put the cap on here. This is just going into this D-shaped hole just at the top. Get that one all the way in. Just like that. On the back here, we have these two sections again, which are going to go, oops, turn this around, which are going to go one that way, and the other one that way, like that. They're going to be held in with KP screws. So I'll just get these screwed in. So as you can see on this side, the KP screws there go in the very bottom most holes. The top holes are going to have AP screws. And there you go, they're in, and that's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 65, another massive section this one. Another part of the fuel tank, we've got some pipes and details here as well. And into this section here, I've got a tiny little pipe that's going to thread into this side here. I do want to push this as far in as I possibly can get it. So it looks like that. In this section here, I've got this detail, which is just going to be pushed in. And again, I want to make sure this fits tight in there because I'm not gluing that like that. In the hole, just in the center there, I've got this detail that's going to go in here. Lots of nipples on this. And then the other detail I've got here is just going to go into the other side of this section just over here. Get that in. And push down like that. Now I've got a pipe to put between them. And it's the smallest pipe, 65D. So one side's going to go on the nipple on this side here. Perfect. And the other one just on the other side. Now, on the two nipples we've got here, I'm going to be putting 65G on the right hand side one. Which, uh, again, I'm probably going to need my tweezers for this. And that's the longer lead. And then the shorter one on the other side. So, that should look like that. Then we're going to join both of these parts together. So, quite simply, just take the two halves and marry them together like this. Making sure that they fit perfectly. I'm going to hold all of these in with five DM screws. That's all together. That's all there is to do in that stage. So stage 66 here, we've got some more pipe work to put in. Now, we've got two pipes the same. One long, one medium, one short. It's the medium pipe first. I'm going to put this onto this detail looking like that. These pipes go onto these really tight, so I'm not really worried about them falling off. But I am going to now attach this whole pipe to this peg under the fuel tank just here. I want it facing the opposite way to the other pipe. So if I get this in, as you can see, this one's pointing back there. The other pipes here are pointing over there. Now we've got this tiny L-shaped adapter here. We want the longer cable now. Put that in one end here. That's on like that. And the cable we just put in there, we're going to be putting this one just above it into the hole here. One of these longer cables, which we had two of, are going into this little detail looking like this and I need to bring over the car because you see this big silver structure coming down at the back there behind that you can probably just see a little lug that's going to go into the hole on this section this is going to be a fun one to connect why on earth are we putting this in now I don't know that is in and I definitely don't want that falling out I'm putting some glue on that to keep that in place <laughs> now that really tiny cable we've got is going to go underneath the smaller side of this thing here which has got a nipple on the bottom again definitely a thing which we could have probably done earlier on in the build 
not the easiest thing to do now we've got all of this stuff in the way that's in the top of this is going to be going into the nipple that you can just see oh i don't know if you can see this this is uh hard to show you just there hopefully you can see that you can probably see that better on top there just at the back there where my thumb is but uh yeah not the easiest thing to do now we could have done that a lot earlier i think now you know how frustrated i get where we have to remove things but i've got to temporarily remove this section just here and then just on this bracket here you can just see on the side of the screen i'm going to be putting this bracket over the top that's going to be held in with KP screws. So I'll get this in and show you what that looks like. I'll put this on its side like that so you can see how this looks just there. Now we're going to be mounting the fuel tank onto this back section. So here's the fuel tank. I am just keeping all of the wires coming underneath. That's going to go on the back just like this here. Now it's going to be held in on both sides here and here with QM screws. So that's one side and I'll just do the other side as well. And that is the fuel tank in place. Now it is held in on the underside as well. Just with a GP screw through that hole there. Let's do that now. And then we've got another GP screw just on the other side just there. We want to put the part that we just took out back in again. Again, not the easiest thing to put in again, but that's it. Now the really long cable that we had coming from the fuel tank that we installed in the last stage. That's going to be going all the way down the front of the car. So I'm just going to get this traced to the front of the car. Now for the front engine, we've got a nipple just there on the side which we had that foot plate that's where this is going to go into just like that there now 65f which is this cable here again if you're unsure what the cables are just go back a stage i'm just going to get this one out of here and i want to put that so i can see it from the other side of the seat because it's going onto the nipple on the side of this silver section on the seat here these wires are going to get so confusing and what I think I'm going to do is each stage I'm going to put up where they actually go because uh, it is hard to actually see where they're going uh, I do need this plate here now and I do have these two sections that I need to join together just like that I've got to put 66 H in which is the longer lead again which is going on the bottom of this section and I'm going to need two XM screws because I'm going to be putting this into the side of the fuel tank again. On the end, before I do that though, on the end of that, I've got one more little detail to put in, which makes another nipple <laughs> just there. God, I've said that a few times today. So I think what I'm going to do, this actually goes on the back of the car. So what I'm going to do is show you the piece, put it in. It goes into the piece just at the back there. And then once I've got it in, I'll show you what that looks like. So as promised, that's how that looks like when it's mounted into that section there. Now you remember 66H, the, the last long lead that we put in? That is actually just going to go through that little bracket that we put in earlier on. Again, I'm going to put a picture on the screen. And it's going to plug in to the nipple that we got left just onto this section here. Hard to show you, but that one's in place there. Now 66K, which is this cable here, is going to go through that bracket again, just like uh, the other one went through. That's going on the back nipple on this back section here. So just feeding that on. And we're going to continue taking all of the cables that we put into the fuel tank now and passing them through that same bracket. Like this one here, which is, let me get the uh, 66 uh, D. And they should all be in place like that there. 
And that is the end of that stage. That was a crazy stage. Absolutely crazy. So in stage 67, we're going to assemble the oil tank. This looks a much better. <laughs> this looks like a lot easier than what we've just done, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, first thing we're going to do is take 67B, which is the cap here. That's just going to go into the hole that we can see just there. Just like that. It's going to be held in from the underside with a KP screw. Now on this same section here, I do have two holes just in the inside where I need to put this bracket. That's just going to go over the top like this. And that's held in with AP screws. Perfect. And now I can piece both of these parts together. So this is just going to go over the top just like this. Make sure the lugs align and they're going to be held in with three BP screws. And there you go. That's all there is to do in that stage. So the last stage, we're going to mount the oil tank. And as you can see, loads more details and pipes as if we haven't got enough pipes. <laughs> okay. They're sending us off with more pipes than we've had, well, for a very long time. Look how many there are. Okay, first thing to do. On this back section here, it's very weird without a wheel. It keeps uh, trying to fall over like that. I'm going to be putting the um, shaft part here onto this section just like that. It's going to be held in with an AP screw. Now to make things difficult, they actually screw it in from the underside like that. Okay, put that to one side and bring over these pipes. Now let's just label these pipes all up. I've got two really long pipes. I've got two shorter pipes and then I've got this really short pipe. So it's the really short pipe that I'm going to need first. I'm also going to need 68C, which looks like that. So get this pipe in here. All the way on. And this is going to be going into the first hole in the oil tank just there. Bring the car back over. I'm going to be coupling the oil tank to the back section now. So this is going to be going on this way just like this and I'm going to be screwing that in from the underside with OP screws and the OP screws are just going into these two holes here. Now the pipe that's coming from that oil tank is just going to be going onto the pipe just here. I then want to take part 68E that looks like this and that's going to go into the hole that we've got left by that pipe there. I've got two leads look very similar and this is where the other long and short cables come from. So this one here, that's on like that. That's gonna be going onto this side at the back just here. So you get one in here. That's the shorter one, is the longer one. That's just going into the other side here. Do try and keep them symmetrical. And I want to trowel this H all the way to the front of the car. And it's going to go into the bulkhead just here. There's a nipple for that to go into. There you go. Comes out here, just goes into the nipple in the firewall here. And then the other one, J here, is going to go underneath the car and it's going to connect to the firewall just behind the steering here into the middle section. And then the other side, again, I'm just going to trace this down. And just deviate from the instructions because I'm going to put it behind the steering wheel. But I'm going to come up through the hole so there's no pipes coming through the actual cockpit area, if you like. There we go. That's just come up through here. And I'm going to plug this in just to the nipple that I've got behind the firewall here. 
Now the holes underneath, once again, the two cables that we've got left, H and J. I'm gonna put this onto the last connectors I've got left. Now what they're actually saying is that these pipes here, see I do go wrong, should be going on top of the fuel section here. So where I've traced this wire underneath, which I think looks a lot cleaner, they want it going over the top. I, I, I don't know, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna keep the way I've got my one there. I mean, it's up to you how you do this, isn't it? It's not, it's not set in stone. I will have this one going over the top. This one's going into the nipple next to the other one on the firewall on this side here. I don't know, but I am gonna follow the other one here, which is going exactly the same place into the middle bulkhead again by the uh, steering wheel. There's actually two um, nipples there. That's in place. I'm just gonna put these tabs just on the back here where they want them. But I've done what they've said. I don't have to like it. I don't want two cables going through there, but I'm like how I've managed to uh, get that in. We now got these brackets. They're gonna be going into this section here onto the middle. Kind of pins these in place at the same time. So one this side, and one on the other side. They're gonna be held in with HP screws just from the top here. And then once they're in, I just need an AP screw just to tie the middle of these to the center spindle. There you go, that's in place. That's all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that crazy, crazy pack. I mean, look, the car looks great. I mean, it looks really good. But the amount of pipe work it's got in there, you're never going to know where they come. There is pipes which aren't connected at the moment underneath, which I'm guessing we're going to be doing in the last stage, stage 12, because the next stage we're only just building a tyre. Uh, I don't like this bit at the back. I am really considering just plumbing these through like the other one there. But uh, I am aware it's impossible to film showing this. So I'm hoping by putting the instructions up on the screen, it does give you a little insight to where it goes. And I've tried to relate uh, the pipes that we're working from the stage before so you can see what pipe you're actually looking at to know how they go in. But uh, that was a difficult pack. To say there's not much to do, I think that's the reason why uh, it was taking so long. The recording time for this, just so you know, is probably a new record, three and a half hours. So I'm going to edit this and this is probably the reason why this video is out late today. But I really like you. I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.